Hey there YouTube, it's MathBuller. Welcome to this purchase recap video. I had a big eBay purchase. It had 27 autographed photos for a pretty decent price. The seller had knocked a percent off of it. So after looking through and realizing there are some people I don't have many of or any of, I went ahead and bought it. So this was a 27 autograph. You're going to see it's actually 26. You know, some sellers... Ah, you know. I mean, I'm not perfect. Let me not go there. This is alphabetical, starting off with Jim Bibby, who has a no-hitter to his credit as a member of the Pirates. Very cool. Nellie Bryles, member of the 71 World Series. I don't think I have either of these two photos. So, I, I'm not sure if I have a Nellie Bryles autograph photo to begin with. We got Sid Bream. Um, nice guy. He was out. Nice guy, though. I have never heard. I'm going to assume that say his name is Mace Brown. Mace Brown pitched for the Pirates in the 30s and early 40s. According to Wikipedia, he was an all-star in 1938. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's pretty stinking cool. And then we go to Jacob Brumfield. Well, I don't have his autograph, that's for sure. <laughs> if I do now. I'm pretty sure I have this photo already signed by Carlos Garcia. He had a promising baseball future. Didn't amount to much, unfortunately. Joe Gibbon, member of the 1960 World Series Pirates. My Joe Gibbons story is I sent him a baseball, TTM, and I got it back, like, literally the day he passed, or the day after he passed, I got back in the mail, and I posted about that on a Facebook group or my, e or my um, YouTube video, and a relative is contacting me saying... That they went to the post office together. He signed a baseball right then and there and sent it back at the post office. And that was the last ball he signed. It was probably your ball. So, oh my gosh, really? So it's quite possible I got the last baseball that Joe Gibbon ever signed. Dang. Richie Hebner? Mm-hmm, very nice. He was a World Series Pirate winner. Chad Hermanson, talk about, like, potential that didn't really... Anyway, Chad, Chad Hermanson, I have this photo already. Okay, this is not live ink. This is a facsimile autograph. That's a bummer. This will most likely be destroyed. I know, but I don't want other people thinking it's legit. Ah, but it looks so nice, so it'll probably be donated. I don't envision myself destroying that. I'll probably donate that. A lot of my stuff that I'm not crazy about, you know, you put a basket together with eight to ten things, and, you know, a lot of these places have these little Chinese raffles, Chinese auction type things. You buy tickets, put them in, and, you know, you put eight to ten pirates things together. Looks pretty nice. Put them in a nice basket and all that. Yeah, that's where that will be going, but it will be noted that it is not a true autograph. Grant Jackson, 1906 or 1971 World Series Pirate. Yeah. 1979. Dag Nabbit. Get your math correct. Get your years correct. Ah, that's okay. I'm still all thrown off by that fake autograph there. Barry Jones. I, I don't have many autographs of Barry Jones. I mean, it's not like he's an amazing pirate, but it's signed in a really good spot there. Nice bright photo. <laughs> so Danny from Mets Rule, as a little friend mail for the holidays there, sent me an autographed photo of Bob Kazava? I think that's how you'd say his name. And, you know, it was from the mainline autographs, had COA. I tell you what, I like that one a lot better than I like this one. Look at the back of this. Got spots all over it. So that one will also... Um, 
either be donated or actually I think I know someone who would legit appreciate this. Even with the back page being a little spot. I'm pretty sure I know someone. Yeah, yeah. We got Spanky. Mike LaValle. Now this is more of an 8.5 by 11 photo paper and that's okay. You don't see him at his jersey number too often. That's for sure. Al McBean, very cool. Not many autographs of him, but there we go. We got him on that very old school looking photo. Look at the jerseys. Uh-huh. This guy, if he was playing on the Pirates right now with his bang average, no one would be making fun of him right now. This is, if you can't tell, Mario Mendoza. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of Pirate players who couldn't hit. 200 last season. I know I don't have this autograph photo. Willie Montanez. I'm not sure if you say his name that way. I'm just a little bit out of my knowledge base, surprisingly. You don't talk about this guy. You don't hear about this guy. So, you know, Pittsburgh don't talk about him too much, but I'm glad to have him. Jose Pagan. Oh, if I recall in the 71 World Series Game 7, he actually ended up hitting the... Uh, game-winning RBI, that would end up being the game-winning RBI, so that's pretty cool. Nice baseball career. Bob Pretty, I don't have any autographed photos of Bob Pretty. He does sign TTM, so that's cool, but now I got a photo of him. Rick Rushel, Big Daddy, I know I have this photo signed by him. Rick Roden, not a huge fan of Rick Rowan. 79 World Series Pirate. Played for a bunch of teams. Bunch of years. Bunch of years. But when I met him at the Mainline Autograph Show, I had four things for him to sign. You know, he didn't even look at me. He was just socializing with the person handling the autograph tickets and pens. So I don't really care for him. <laughs> Bob Robertson. Just a little smudgy. I may or may not have this photo already signed by him. Not entirely sure, but very cool. He was the recipient of Steve Blass jumping into his big, strong, beefy arms whenever he won, finished off the World Series in 1971. We got Don Robinson. Oh, much respect to Don Robertson, a pitcher who's a true baseball player. He took pride in his at-bats. Nowadays, pitchers don't even be real baseball players anymore, so... Yep, but we got Don Robinson. Look at those beautiful hats. Dang, those Pirates had some good uniforms. Don Schwall. Yep. In the 50s, he was the Rookie of the Year. Not with the Pirates, but still. Pretty cool. I have this photo already. Looks like we're getting down to maybe the last two or three autograph photos here. There's three left. We got Tommy Sisk. Signed Tom Sisk. Very nice. Played for the Pirates in the 60s. Could be mistaking, but uh, Tony Black, is that at Wrigley? Looks like it. This was a nice one to get. Dick Stewart. I mean, remember the 1960 Pirates? And it seems like his autographs can be a bit pricey at times. The star looks cool to me. I need to look into that because I've not seen that before. And last in my alphabet, we got Bob Walk. On an 8.5 by 11, you know, on someone's cheap photo paper, but still. So 27, actually 26 Pittsburgh Pirate autographs for a good price. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. Do you remember any of these guys from their playing years? I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.